Hello and welcome to Filmmaking 101 with Braiding Images. In this video, we'll be going through the white balance. Did you know that white is not always white? White objects are actually the colour of the light that is hitting them, and light can be different colours depending on where it's coming from. Colour temperature is how we can measure what shade of white is being produced by a specific light, and is measured in Kelvin and ranges from candlelight at 1000 Kelvin to a blue sky at 10,000 Kelvin. Low colour temperatures are more yellow and high colour temperatures more blue. The light that you see outside on a cloudy day is known as daylight and this has a colour temperature of 5600 Kelvin. You'll find that this is a bluish light. The light coming from your light bulbs at home will be known as tungsten and is 3200 Kelvin. This light will seem more yellow. This is something that we as humans don't usually have to pay attention to, but cameras are very sensitive to it and have to be told what color white should be. This is known as white balance. Cameras have different ways of setting white balance. You might need to point the camera at a white piece of paper, use a white balance preset, or dial in the exact color temperature of the scene. If you get the white balance wrong, your scene will look either too yellow or too blue. Cameras can only be set to one white balance at a time. So when you're filming, think about where the main light is coming from and try not to use different types of lights for that scene. For example, a common issue is shooting indoors under light bulbs, but next to a window. The light coming through the window will seem blue compared to the light from the light bulbs and might ruin your shot. So let's recap. Different light sources produce different colours of light, known as colour temperature. Your camera must be told what colour temperature the scene is being lit by in order for the shot to look natural. This is known as white balance. Thanks for watching and check out our other videos for more Filmmaking 101 tips.